Hi, my name is Larry Moore. Uh, I'm here in Tucson, Arizona at, on May Day, uh, 2009. And uh, I'm here as an entrepreneur based in Boston looking to bring a new type of methodology for a post, what's called a post-election audit uh, in order to deliver uh, very high levels of transparency and auditability to the way elections are conducted in America. I was brought to this um, uh, methodology uh, through a contact that I made with a woman in Humboldt County, California, whose name is uh, Carolyn Cernich. And Carolyn is the county clerk and, and supervisor of elections. And they did something very innovative in the 2008 election cycle. Uh, it was her objective to bring transparency to Humboldt County by uh, providing a way that every citizen could see the way that ballots were counted and, uh, and recorded. And she achieved that with two simple ideas. One was to scan the ballots into image files using an off-the-shelf ordinary scanner. And the second was to then publish those images on both DVD and on the internet. And that from that, those two simple ideas, scan the ballots, publish the images, a flurry of innovation took place very quickly that began to provide the framework for the delivery of transparency to elections. And so I'm here in, hum in, uh, in Tucson, in Pima County today, to talk to folks uh, in the election integrity movement to find out if, there was, if there's interest, if there's general interest in this methodology. And today, this morning, I was uh, uh, privileged to be in a meeting uh, which Secretary of State Bennett uh, was at, which was a meeting of the Election Commission, uh, a group appointed by the Board of Supervisors in Tucson. So what I'd like to do is to talk about how uh, Humboldt County developed and implemented the methodology to bring transparency into the election process in, uh, in their county. I visited uh, Carolyn Cernich, shown here, um, back in, in uh, early April. And I was struck by the fact that she had a very simple objective. She wanted to let every citizen be able to see that all the votes were fairly and properly counted. And that there were two very simple ideas that, uh, that she used to implement that. The first was to scan the ballots using an ordinary off-the-shelf scanner. This one was made by Fujitsu. And then once those images were taken, then to publish those images both on the internet and on DVD. And that from those two simple ideas, innovation began to take place. The first innovation was they linked, with, with this scanner, they linked the image and the physical ballot together by pre-imprinting a sequence number, and they call that an endorsement. They endorsed the ballot with this sequence number. So that if there was ever any question about whether or not this image faithfully represented a ballot or vice versa, they could use that sequence number on the image to go get the ballot and compare them side by side. The second thing they did was they published it on DVD and on the internet. And Carolyn tells a great war story. Soon after the election, there, a citizen group came in and said that there was a, an issue that they wanted to address involving a very close contest in one of the precincts. And would she be willing to do a recount under California law because the contest was so close? And she said, you're within your rights to ask that question. It would, we would have to charge you to do that. Um, but why don't instead I give you a DVD with the images of the ballots from your precinct and you go conduct your own count and come back and tell me whether or not you want us to do a formal recount. And the citizen, the small citizen group did that and came back a few days later and said that no, the contest was fairly counted and although it was close, we're satisfied with the outcome. The second and, and the third thing that they did is they were able to produce an absolutely consistent count 
so that the tabulator that they, software tabulator that they developed, saw the ballot the same way for every single ballot. And um, on this slide, we show the ability to, for citizens to visualize the contests as they were being marked. And so the tabulator could be slowed down, and one by one, you could see the contests being scored by the software. Now, the software, when it was running at full speed, was capable of producing uh, tabulations at the rate of about 7,500 ta ballots per hour. And incidentally, the scanner was able to scan at the rate of 100 ballots a minute. So very fast scanning, very fast tabulation. These major innovations, the scanning of the ballots, linking the images, publishing the images, writing high-speed tabulation software, in just a very, very short amount of time, al already has resulted in reform in California. With these improvements in the conduct of the election made possible by this innovative methodology, uh, not only were they able to bring transparency and citizen trust, um, increase citizen trust in the way votes were counted in Humboldt County, but they did the state of California a big service by finding this software flaw, or rediscovering the software flaw that dropped 197 votes in Humboldt County uh, in one precinct. Um, we think this is a significant innovation and deserves um, being brought to market by a company devoted to increasing transparency uh, for elections in America.